For the next few minutes, I'd like to concentrate on the process of parasite replication, a process that is normally quite familiar as one cell goes to two, goes, uh, 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 goes to four, and which, we'll, but which we will discuss because it's critical to the pathogenesis of, of, of these parasites. It is, after all, the frank tissue destruction which is responsible for uh, neurological birth defects as parasites in the fetus uh, destroy tissue before they come under, uh, under control. It is that tissue destruction that's responsible for lesions like that encephalitic lesion we saw in the brain of an HIV, uh, HIV patient. And this is a common feature of many pathogenic microorganisms, although there are certainly organisms that cause disease by interfering with, say, normal cellular signaling pathways. It's actually the replication of the organisms themselves which is responsible for disease in many other organisms. And, and in this way, we can think of, of uh, the, the problem as very much analogous to that of cancer cells, where it's not the mutation in an individual cell which is responsible for disease, but the uncontrolled proliferation of cells. And therefore, cancer chemotherapy is typically targeted at blocking that proliferation in much the same way much antimicrobial therapy is targeted specifically at blocking the replication of, of, of parasites. So if we understand more about that replication process and particularly novel features that we might be able to specifically target, we may be able to interfere with them in, in, in uh, useful ways. Here we see a micrograph of, uh, uh, of host cells which have been infected with a single uh, parasite and that parasite is divided once, twice, giving rise to four parasites living within that parasitophorus vacuole. Here's another parasitophorus vacuole, another parasite infected maybe a little bit earlier, replicated three times, giving rise to eight parasites, and yet another with 16 uh, parasites. As we follow over time, over the next 24 to 48 hours, those parasites will replicate much more rapidly than the host cell and swell up like a fat sausage and a few hours later burst out so that there is no residue, no, no evident uh, uh, cellular material here at all. And if we were to look inside an encephalitic lesion, this is precisely the kind of thing that we would see. Destruction of tissue and perhaps inflammation that is a result of that uh, of uh, of, of that uh, tissue destruction.